Hey best friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I have like a impromptu review for you guys. I try Bold Hold products. Bold, bold Hold products are um, a lace adhesive, um, lace tape, and lace glue remover. And the person who made it or came up with it goes by the hair diagram and she's off of Instagram. I'll leave all her information down below. So. I wanted to try Bold Hold because I was trying Got To Be Glue for a long time. A very, very, very long time. And Got To Be Glue, like I said in a previous video, it's a gift and a curse. And I say that because if you use it right, it'll work for you. But what I did notice with Got To Be Glue is when it hardens, it hardens. Like your lace will feel tight. Your lace will feel hard. And that's one thing I didn't like. It didn't have a natural look to it to me. Um, it just looked and felt real hard. So if you was to scrunch up your face and you had lace on your face, you could tell that you had lace on your face because it wouldn't move with your facial expressions. I don't know if that makes sense, but the lace was just really, really hard wherever you put the got to be glue and I was not having it. And it's, it, it was just an uncomfortable feeling. So this was my first go around. I did not know what to expect. I did not know how to use the product. I just tried it. <laughs> just came in packaging with bubble wrap and stuck inside a little envelope and it was mailed to me. I think I probably received it in three business days after I ordered it, which is really, really fast. I know I ordered it in the afternoon and by nighttime I had tracking information. So like I said, that was really fast. I do know that this product sells out really, really, really quick. So if you are trying to get your hands on this, you definitely want to um, go and see if you could purchase it. As soon as I got the package from my mail lady, I opened it because I was, like I said, I was excited. So I opened the package, I'm sitting at my vanity, and I'm like, okay, okay, what is this? So I'll, I take the lace remover, I open it, and I smell it. When I smelled it, it smelled like Johnson & Johnson baby oil, and I was like, okay. So then I ended up sticking my finger in there and I rubbed it on my skin, and I was like, it feels like Johnson & Johnson baby oil too. And I was like, okay, but maybe I'm tripping. So I got the lace glue. I did the same thing. I smelled it. I, I took some of it, rubbed it between my fingers. Smelled like Elmer's glue. And I'm just like, okay, what the fuck? While I was messing with it in my hands, I noticed that it will become tacky. And you know when Elmer's glue, when it starts drying down, it dries into a thin little piece, a translucent, like glue when this dries when this starts drying out it just become really sticky and tacky so this is how i did know that it wasn't elmer's glue and i know that a lot of people on facebook because i'm on facebook heavily they thought it was elmer's glue too because a lot of the women were saying that you know it smelled like elmer's glue so i could get why they would say that these products are baby oil and Elmer's glue but it's it's definitely not so I tried this product three times on myself and one time on my mom when I first got the product I was really excited so um I told my mom I'm gonna wash your wig and I'm gonna give it a silk press and I'm gonna put it on your head and we're gonna try this lace glue and this and that and the other so um she sat there and she let me put it on I didn't know how to apply it I mean I, I had the gist of it because you see a lot of women um apply their lace glue they do a layer and layer a layer layer to dry well for me I only did one layer because of the fact that I don't keep my wigs on for a long time and I like to take my hair on and off but I just want to see how that one layer held so I definitely did one layer around my mom's perimeter the front of her perimeter of her head and I applied the um, glue it, I could have done a better job but like I said that was my first time doing it so I did not know what to expect and how to really apply it my mom was in love with it and I was in love with it too it this product literally makes your lace melt into your skin you don't see lace I mean well you know lace is there but like the lace generally melts into your skin and that's if you have good lace now French lace you you definitely want to use this product with Swiss lace Swiss lace and bold hole products will definitely melt into your skin and it will be hard for you to see the lace on your hairline after my mom tried it she wore hers for about a week with one layer of glue and it held up for about a week mind you so then it came to my time I didn't have a frontal at the at the moment because I didn't well, I wasn't wearing frontals I only had closures because I like I said I like to take my wigs on and off the first two times I applied it with 
a closure so therefore I only pat it on this portion of my face and I left it there I, like I said I only did the one layer of glue I let it get translucent and I applied it to my head I didn't have any problems with it and it stayed and it looked good and I was like I was happy with the outcome every time I tried the bold hole products I did it with this wig this is a new installment I just recently made this wig so I was like okay well since this is a frontal I am definitely going to try the bold hold around my entire hairline so I have a weird hairline um, I do have a widow's peak which you cannot see right now so my hairline goes like widow's peak and it goes art like it's an arch like a heart and then it goes in right here where that's where my baby hairs are and then it goes into my sideburn frontals aren't made like that so I really had to customize my frontal to my frontals to fit my face you know that could be a bit difficult in applying frontals on somebody like me and that has a hairline like me Typically, when you have a hairline like me, simply hairline is close to the eyebrow, a lot of people will say uh, frontals aren't made for you because you have a smaller forehead. <sighs> Cynthia's gonna wear a frontal anyway, so I'm just letting you know it can be done, all right? I applied the bolt hold in sections like I would normally do with Got To Be Glue. So I applied the first section right here first where the top of my hairline is, and I laid my lace down, and then I did from side to side with this you only have to wait till it turns translucent and it will turn translucent really quick i did notice that i didn't make my layer as smooth as possible around my hairline perimeter which you definitely should i will suggest you guys go get popsicle sticks or something easily that will help you smooth the, the product around your hairline and i also did a thin layer maybe a half an inch around my hairline I'm sure how i would like it and how it will hold up for me so i've been wearing this hair this unit for about four to five days that's a long time for me to be even wearing a wig because i'm actually tired of a hair on my head and i'm ready to take this off so i'm definitely about to take this off after i finish this video i just want to give you guys my thoughts on this product okay um both of the products together cost about $40, okay? And maybe with shipping and handling, it probably came up to like $45, which is not too bad. You get four ounces of the lace remover, and I think it says you get about 1.3 ounces of the actual bold hold cream. I really like this product. I, I like it better than got to be glue. You definitely have to be careful when using this product because if you do get it on your edges, you have to be really gentle when you're taking the glue off your edges and I think I am gonna record a video of me taking off my wig and you know cleaning my edges off I did that one layer and my the my perimeter of my wig held up really really good but I can say that it does not matter what type of adhesive or gel I use my sideburns will never stick down I did put bold hold around my edges of my sideburns but it, it just doesn't stick down so I am definitely gonna try the hair diagrams um, tape because I did notice that she put tape on her side on the like on the base of her sideburns and then she places the lace down so I'm definitely gonna try that method to see if my sideburns will stay down because I sleep in my wigs because it's glued on my head sleeping on your wigs will have your wig shifting back a little bit that was odd to me because that showed me that the product really didn't dry down fully so it stays a tacky texture because it stays a tacky texture um, it's easily it's not easily to move it but it gradually shifts back because once it starts shifting back you will you can see like a a sticky residue in front of your hairline and that's the only thing I could say that's annoying about this product but I actually absolutely adore this product so when you start seeing that tacky layer in front of your hairline it gets sticky which mine is right now that's another reason why I'm gonna remove my wig so I could get all of that off of me it looks just like dirty slime around your hairline perimeter and then like that's just a whole nother thing like I, I don't want that on my hairline and I don't want that on my hair and about this if this product would actually dry down and not shift back I would love it even more but this like it looks when I first applied this wig on my hair let me tell you it was hitting and I really really love the hair I also didn't wrap my edges down when I did go to sleep I don't know if that would have played a role in a situation I don't know but you know eventually it is gonna start shifting back um so that's about it that's all I have to say about bow hold I, I would recommend this product I don't sweat a lot so I can't tell you if this holds 
for somebody that works out. I don't, and I don't really sweat around my face. And this, this is scent approved, and I do like this product, and I will be buying more once I run out of this. Um, I will do a video on how I use this product to remove my wig and to take the remainder of the product off of my hairline and that is it you guys if you guys have any questions or concerns feel free to leave all your questions down below do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button down below so you can always make sure that you are tuned into my videos and you get that notification and this hair is from I am Ayani I am wearing 24 inches of platinum hair I did tone this hair I've made a wig and I added roots and if you want to see a video on that it will be coming up right after this video so other than that, bye best friends.